bless you out there across the globe, our global Christian friends, our American people and government. Following after righteousness, no righteousness, obtain righteousness. May the righteousness of God and uh, here, Luke 18, 9, he spoke this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Hmm. The prayer of a righteous man of it much we know why now. You can't despise others when you're righteous. If you despise others and you are righteous, your righteousness is not of God. Because God, who is righteous, made every man. All right? God made every man. And he made them according to the nature of the ordinances of the heavens. Understand that. Praise the Lord. Now, in 10, 18, uh, 1810, he said this. Two men went up into the temple to pray. The one a Pharisee, the other a publican. Now we got two men going up into the temple to pray. One a Pharisee, another Republican, another publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus. With himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are. Extortioners, one. Unjust, two. Adulterers, three. Or even as this publican, four. <laughs> now, mind you, God is listening to him make these claims about himself. I thank thee that I'm not as other men are. Now, <laughs> anytime you start thanking God and thanking him, Lord, I think of that I'm not like brother so-and-so and so, -and -so uh, I'm not like sister so-and-so and so. There is no compassion there. There is no compassion there. You could never go to that person that you're claiming to be unlike and have compassion on that person. I want to make this clear. You could never go to a person that you're claiming to be unlike, unlike and have compassion on that person. Why? Because your spirit ain't right. You're trying to be self-righteous without the righteousness of God in operation. He goes on further. I fast twice in the week. Number one. I give tithe of all that I possess. Number two. And a publican standing afar off would not lift up his eyes under heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Lord, be merciful unto me, a sinner. He is pleading for God's compassion, isn't he? Now, huh, I tell you in verse 14, this man went down to his house justified uh, rather than the other. For everyone that exalted himself shall be abased. And he that humbled himself shall be exalted. You notice that? These are principles that Jesus is teaching about how God responds and how God react to those that are out there speaking. Oh, get up my foot. 
Get off my foot. You understand? You're speaking in tongues. Oh, sh -na 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 -na. You understand what I'm saying? But pardon the expression. As soon as the church door closed, you headed for the number house. All right? And I have seen preachers come off the pulpit. I'm right along with them. And they come off the pulpit and reach under their coat and take their 38 and put it on top of their desk. And I'm looking at them just coming off the pulpit preaching to four or five hundred people, well educated people. And he pulled out his 38, just came from the pulpit. I know I, I, I was right there with him. Put it on his desk. Reach in his drawer, pull out a fifth of scotch, and pull out his little shot glass, and pour him a good hooker of that scotch out of that bottle, have it just come off the pulpit, and reach into the other pocket, and put out a pack of cigarettes, open them up, light it, and three or four deacons in his office, along with me and him, look at him and say, Pastor, can I have a hooker? He said, go right ahead. And they, in turn, took them a nice good hooker of that scotch. And I'm saying, Lord, let me out of here. Let me out of here, Lord, please, in a hurry. And thank God the Lord allowed me to get out of there. And, uh, uh, excuse me. But the preacher had, in this one case, had nerve enough to ask me, Bishop, you want a hooker? Want a shot? <laughs> I said, praise the Lord, I, I, I got to go. But I, I didn't want to be in the bar in case the Lord were to send one of those lightning bolts, you know, <laughs> upon the pastors and the deacons and all those great big educated people in that great big old beautiful church. And if I told y'all some of the things that went, went in on in some of the churches I've attended, my God, my God, my God, you would, it, it's so amazing. It is really amazing. I, I, I won't go into them and tell you that. But I thank and praise the Lord that I'm alive today to tell you some of these things that the Lord have brought me out of and from our mom. And you justify yourself, trying to justify yourself rather than others. If you exalt yourself, you shall be abased. Is he that humbled himself shall be exalted. It's like what did God do? He take those foolish things of the world to do what? To confound those that are wise. God bless you. The next time, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. And in due time, he will lift you up, the Bible said. God bless you.